Hey everybody, welcome back. We're coming to you from our backyard today. It's such nice weather. We're back here. We wanna talk about the phases of new construction. So let's get into it. You might notice that we don't have any videos showing you the process of our house being built from start to finish. If you haven't watched our I Quit My Job video, that's a good video to check out because you'll understand why we don't have that. But today we're finally bringing you the process of our house being built from start to finish and talking you through the phases of a new build. One thing we definitely want to bring up is you are on the builder's timeline. You do not own your house until closing day when you sign those papers, you get the keys and you move in. Until then, it is their property. And so they can move as quickly or as slowly as they want. It's not up to you. But what you can do is just stay informed to know where they are in the process to help you feel at peace and know that at least it's making progress, even if I have to wait so many months for it to be complete. So the very first stage in the building process is the pre-construction stage. This is when there's nothing but dirt on the ground, doesn't look like a house is going to be built there, uh, but the builders are in the process of doing things to prepare it for a home to be there. And so a lot of this entails them getting permits from the city or the county. Uh, they are running plumbing in the ground. Uh, they're doing grading and surveying to make sure that they have enough space to build this house and, uh, and outlining things so that, they know that, so that they know exactly where they're going to put the house, where they're going to put the plumbing, and where all the pieces that make this house operate uh, that's underground, where all of that should go. The next phase of a new build is the slab phase, and that's when they come in and pour the concrete, basically. And so when you drive up to your lot, you'll see this big piece of concrete, and you'll know this is where my house is going to go. And the next one right after that will help you get an even better sense of what your house is going to look like because that's the framing stage. In the framing stage, you're going to see the wood frame go up so you'll be able to see where are all my walls and my doors and my roof and you can actually see it starting to come together. And so that part, it was really exciting for us and we got to see, okay, now we get a sense of this is what our house is going to look like. Yeah, even when the, the slab phase was going on, you know, it was so exciting to just see that concrete and see how fast and wide the house was, or how wide it wasn't was. Mm -hmm. I think for us, one of the things we realized is how small our driveway actually is uh, going into our garage. And so it was helpful to kind of see that. But then when they start putting the framing in such mm -hmm. a, then you're really like, okay, this is, this is a nice size house. Yeah. And then the next stage after that is the mechanical stage. And so you have an outline of your house, all the framing is up, uh, but there's nothing inside of it, right, other than wood. And so at this stage, that's when uh, the HVAC begins to be put in, that's when the electrical gets in, some more plumbing gets added, all of the gas lines, all of those things start to come inside of your home. This is also the phase where you might begin to see some delays because you're also having things like windows come in and windows tend to be one of the main reasons why houses get delayed. Also, this is when your city inspection or your county inspection will happen. Uh, and so that can also delay a process depending on what staffing levels look like. Uh, but this is also the stage where you want to get your pre-drywall inspection. And so we have a whole video on our dry, our inspection process and what that looked like for us and so you want to make sure that you have your pre-drywall inspection done to prepare you for your pre-drywall meeting with the superintendent and that's when they come through they look at your inspection report uh, and they walk through and showcase how they corrected items that were on that report but also showing you where everything's located why this pipe is here what this pipe does they walk you through all of those details the next phase is the sheetrock phase, and this is when your walls finally go up. So think post drywall, right? You can go into your home and you'll see your walls up. There'll be little cutouts for things that go there, but it really feels like a house now because it finally has walls. And so you can walk around and get a sense of how big your rooms are and just see where you're going to put things on the wall, where your furniture is going to go. You can really get an idea of that and your design ideas 
because you now finally have walls. And that's when we got even more excited because it wasn't just a wood frame anymore and we had been looking at the wood frame for so long. It was like, when are the walls gonna come in? So we finally had our walls up and we have some pictures that go through us going around and us with our dog and just feeling like, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. So the sheet rock phase is always exciting. Then after that, you have your trim stage. And this is when the house really, really begins to look like a house because the carpet and the flooring and the cabinets and the doors, all of those pieces begin to get installed. Um, some painting begins to happen. And so all of that comes together. You get to see how, you're, how you can navigate and how you can live inside of your home. Uh, and then immediately following the trim stage, is the quality control stage. This is the last stage of the build process. This is when the builder goes through and they make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Everything looks the way it's supposed to look. Even at this stage, you're going to still see a house under construction. It's important to remember that there's still gonna be patches in the wall that need to be painted. There's still going to be uh, stains in the tub from people walking in it and, and screwing things together that need to be completed. And so all of that is still going to be taking place even at the quality control phase of the build, which is, is near the end, which means you are very close to closing on your home and moving in. So now that we've taken you through all the phases of a new build, we want to show you what our house looked like from start to finish. If you're considering new construction, we have some first time home buyer tips in another video that you should definitely check out where we go over some things that people don't always think about when they're moving into their first home. Thank you so much for watching. We love all of our subscribers out there. All 1, of our 1,000 subscribers. We're over 1,000. That's just crazy to us. We're so appreciative. We love you guys. Thank you for following us on our journey. Let us know in the comments any other questions you might have about the phases of a new build, what other videos you want to see from us, what topics you want us to cover. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in our next video. Peace.